All right, so today I'm just gonna be talking about um, the difference in the gram negative and the gram positive bacteria um, and the effect that penicillin has on both of them. Um, so the first question referred to the cell wall structure and features of the cell wall that are unique to gram positive um, and to gram negative bacteria. So um, first, just to touch on it, gram positive and gram negative both have a cell membrane and they both have the cell wall. Um, that's going to be made out of the peptidoglycan. However, in gram-positive cells, the cell wall is going to be thicker, um, and it's going to have more layers of the peptidoglycan. Whereas in gram-negative cells, the cell wall is going to be thinner, um, meaning that there's going to be less layers of the peptidoglycan. Gram-negative cells also are going to have an outer membrane um, outside of the peptidoglycan wall, and that's going to contain um, what was referred to in lecture as the LPS or the lipopolysaccharides. Um, so those lipopolysaccharides are endotoxins, and that means that toxic properties um, will be released if a gram-negative cell is disrupted, dismantled, um, weakened, or falls apart, um, and that can cause shock. Now, because the gram-positive cell has more layers of the peptidoglycan, um, it is going to make that cell wall more rigid, which in turn makes it a little bit more difficult um, for lysis to occur just due to the structure of what that cell wall looks like. Um, and now going over penicillin. So penicillin um, works on a bacterial cell by weakening the cell wall and kind of disrupting or inhibiting the cell wall synthesis. So the target for the penicillin um, is the peptidoglycan layer of the bacterial cell. So if that cell wall, um, if the synthesis of the cell wall is disrupted, um, it's not going to be able to make the peptidoglycan that is necessary to kind of keep the strength of that cell wall intact. Um, and when that happens, it is going to make it more prone to leakage um, and to cell lysis, which was referred to in the lecture as like it explodes, right? Lysis just kind of like it, it explodes. Um, and the penicillin is going to work best on a gram-positive bacterial cell. Um, and that's because it's not going to have to cross through an outer membrane um, like we see in the gram-negative cell. The penicillin will inhibit the synthesis of the peptidoglycan in that gram-positive cell, which is going to make the cell pretty leaky um, and fragile. So when this happens, um, the cell will kind of burst open, right, that lysis that we talked about. Um, and that's going to make it much easier um, for the immune system to kind of break that down, which is going to help the sick person heal faster.